Good morning, it's Kennedy, and I'll, I'll tell you why I have M MSNBC's uh, YouTube channel pulled up here. Show you how much of hypocrites they are, anyway. Because it seems that... Alright, first of all, what I want to tell you is, uh, if you could support the channel, please do it. YouTube, since I hit a thousand subs, uh, about ten days ago, Every single day, they're emailing me, telling me to turn my ad revenue on, and I am not going to turn it on. So I guess they're just going to send me emails every single day now. Well, there was rumors floating around that uh, a lot of companies aren't doing too good financially right now, and I think YouTube is one of them. Now they're begging people to put because let's be honest, they lost a lot of their talented content creators. Which is why I'm going to show you the NF MSNBC web's uh, YouTube channel in a second and show you what I mean by that. The reality of their little bubble is um, being exposed to a lot of people. The Trump ruling didn't have the consequences they thought because now you've uh, you got businesses saying they're pulling out of New York. Truck drivers are not making delivery and yeah. I just watched the Fox News clip. Maybe they did get Trump, but at the cost of what? Bankrupting New York? Losing your voter base now? Uh, not only from within the United States, but international businesses are looking at New York now and saying, we ain't doing business there. Yeah, uh, New York used to be a respectable financial capital of the world. Not anymore. And now they're freaking out because all this TDS obviously didn't have the consequences they thought it was going to have. Gee, who, I, I could have told you that three years ago. So look at MSNBC. You know how much they love Donald Trump, right? You know what I find ironic here? I went through all their video views on their channel because I know for a fact that YouTube does not mess with the MSNBC video algorithm, okay? But the only way that you get views on your YouTube channel, look, Rachel Maddow, an hour ago, she put out a video. She's only got 22,000 views. They got 6.48 million subscribers at MSNBC. So I, I whipped out my calculator, and it came out to about like 12.8% of your subscriber base watch that video. I get more views on my videos, Rachel. The video I did, uh, yeah, I only got a thousand subs, but I got 260 views on my last video. That is roughly 26% of my subscriber base. My other video about London got 409. That is like 40% of my subscriber base. But the only way that you get views on MSNBC is putting Trump's name in, in the title. It's called the Trump bump. Which is why I can't stand you hypocrites. Your gossip backfired on you. The only reason you use the guy's names in videos is because, let's be honest, video views equals money. And the only way <laughs> you can make money is talking about the orange man. Look, and I'll prove it to you. You go through their chat. Look, look at every all their videos. The only ones... This one's got 115,000 views seven hours ago. But guess what? They didn't watch it because of Rachel. Because look at this video over here. No one's watching that. And that's just her ranting about whatever she's going on about. No, they're, they're only watching the one where she put Trump in the title. That's got 115,000 views. The other one she did only has 22,000. Do you see what I... All right, yeah. The only way they get video views on their own channel is by talking about that. Because would you like to see the video views of when they talk about Biden? Or Nikki Haley? No one gives a shit about these people. Look at Nikki Haley. 23 hours ago, 17,000 views. Yeah, of course, the Trump case got a lot of views, 117,000, obviously. Here, here goes a Biden video. From yesterday, 69,000 views. 
compared to the one a day ago with Trump's name in the title. It's got 117,000 views, almost double. So go on with your TDS all you want. But to be honest, socialism doesn't pay the bills. And that's the reality of uh, what's about to happen now. So um, you figure they'd be dancing in the streets over their victory. They're not. Uh, other people are really starting to ask the really important questions. What is the root of all this DDA? What is really going on here? Did you see Stephen Colbert's meltdown on TV the other day? Because... <laughs> They're freaking out. Oh, no, 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 no. He's been indicted 91 times. He raped no, no. Yeah, because it's all whatever. Even he, even that TDS asshole has to put Trump in his title because it's the only way they get video views. No one watches them. Nobody tunes in to see what they're saying about Biden. Nikki Haley. America is a capitalistic country. Our, our constitution was never written to conform to socialism or communism. In fact, those constructs weren't even around in 1776. And it's kind of ironic that a Luciferian mindset is going to bankrupt themselves because that's the only real source of Lucifer's power is money on this planet. And without it, how many people would listen to George Soros if he wasn't a billionaire? Nobody. Yeah, you want to talk about hypocrisy? I get, I'm not going to rant about that. They won't like that. Yeah, like Fannie Willis and um, Lakeisha James taking that Big Daddy George Soros money. Meanwhile, they're talking about him one being, yeah, the hypocrisy. Jen Psaki, should I re? I made a video about her, her circle back video. <laughs> I'm not gonna put that back on YouTube. I don't need the attention on my channel. Ironic. You banned me off YouTube 10 times in a row. Now YouTube is begging me to turn my AdSense back on. MSNBC, the only way you get ratings on your channels, by talking about the orange man. This is what we called in the alternative media as the Trump bump. And people laughed at it for a long Yeah, but it's pretty damn true. I can go to CNN's YouTube channel. It will be the same thing. Say what you want, the guy brings in ratings. <laughs> and at the end of the day, do you, do you know what their downfall is? Remember, in, in, here, swearing an oath in court. Yeah, when you go to court and you have to swear your uh, testimony in the presence of God. Well, guess what? If you're breaking the Ten Commandments yourself while you're doing this, how do you think that's going to work out for you? Thou shall not bear false witness. This also includes the um, the idea of, quote-unquote, gossiping, which is what they're really good at. <laughs> like I just showed you, the only thing that's bringing in ratings for MSNBC is gossiping about Donald Trump. Who's paying their bills at MSNBC and CNN? I don't know how they're keeping the lights on. Not only that, but they got more problems. They're recycling the same garbage from the Obama administration. You would think Democrats could get a new fresh face for their party for 2024 instead of recycling the same old garbage. Gee, I wonder why that is. Because secretly behind closed doors, not everyone is going to go along with your uh, psychopathic ways. And call yourself whatever you want. These aren't Democrats. These aren't liberals. 
Those aren't even acting like human beings. Every time you mock God, it's going to bite you in the ass. I told you, Fannie Willis broke three of the four Ten Commandments, in her case. Lying, coveting thy neighbor's wife, right, well, husband, in that case. Bearing false witness. Where's your big daddy Lucifer to come in and save the day for you? Yeah, never trust serpents and never trust demons. Oh, people don't listen. It's because most people get involved in these uh, black magic secret societies. They do it for money, sex, and power. And they're not good at any one of it. They're horrible lovers. They steal other people's money. And the only source of your power is the armed security you can hire around you. <laughs> like I said, this Aragon dude, nobody would take this guy serious on the street if he wasn't a judge. In fact, if I seen that guy sitting in a park, I wouldn't let my kid, uh, I wouldn't let my cats around him. That's the truth. Guy looks like a creep. I noticed one thing. You always got to read between the lines. What is one thing that they never accused Donald Trump of? And, and you know, they tried everything under the sun. They never accused him of child trafficking or harming children. Interesting. I said, read between the lines of what they're not accusing him of. You think if they had that on him, they'd be preaching it in the streets, right? They tried that kids with cages shit down at the border when he was in there. That didn't work out too good for them. That was a bunch of... Uh, Anyway, that's all from my rant. If you could support the channel, all the links are in the description. I'm not turning the ads back on on this channel. I've already played this game with YouTube multiple times. They put videos up for monetization review. I don't have enough views on the channel to even make any money on the videos. I don't need the attention to the channel. And lastly, I do not want them running ads for the Democratic Party on my videos either. The only way I would turn ad revenue sharing back on is if I could be promised by YouTube that every ad that plays on my video will be a Donald Trump MAGA ad. I don't think they can make that up. It's my content. I'll decide what video, uh, kind of advertising on one of my videos. Got it, YouTube? You know how many times I'm on YouTube watching conservative things and people are down in the comments? I use, I use Brave. I don't see the ads. All right, No, no surprise there. But other people are like, I'm watching their video about conservatives. And then I get a Democrat ad pop up on the video. Like, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> that only makes sense. But... They're only going to get worse. These psychopaths are going to become more unhinged because it's not having the effects they thought it was going to have. And at what consequence? They're trying to make this into a, it's not uh, an issue about the orange man. Businesses just don't want to do business in New York regardless of their politics. Oh, here we go. Here's the video. Now I had this begin. Here, I'm going to end the video with the, these people hate Trump more than they love America. You got that right on the, you hit that nail right on the head. She, she is absolutely right. Burn America to the ground, but as long as we get the orange man.
God works in mysterious ways, and I got a feeling God is about to educate the world on what the real source of TDS is. And when the people find out, there was a quote, these people won't be able to walk down the street. So go ahead. Applaud yourself, CNN and MSNBC. Yeah, we got the orange man. Well, that's right. You, you, you need to talk about the orange man to get any uh, ratings on your viewers on your videos. Jen Psaki put out a video an hour ago. It's got 51 minutes ago. It's only got 1.6 thousand views. About an hour ago, nine minutes before that, they put out a video here, but they got Trump's name in the title. That video got 15,000 views. Say what you want about Orange Man, but apparently talking about Orange Man is allowing Joy Weed to buy her blonde-haired weaves. I wonder how much talking about the Orange Man in Russia, Russia, Russia helped Rachel Maddow increase her dildo collection. <laughs> All right, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that swamp thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ricky's having a meltdown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you can support the channel, all the links are in the description. I'm not putting any ads on the videos. Don't worry. Jeez, um, the only time you'll see an ad on my videos is if I use copyrighted content and... There's nothing I can do about that. I file appeals. I don't get the, the videos don't get blocked. They allow me to upload them, but there are a few videos where I got some copyrighted content in that you might see ads on. But otherwise, um, yeah, there shouldn't be any ads on them. Anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. God bless and take care.